wamejitokeza kwa wingi wanawake kwa wanaume wote wakiwa na lengo la kutoa uhamasisho kuhusu unyanyasaji wa jinsia na ukeketaji wa wanawake msafara uliongozwa na spika wa bunge la Nairobi Beatrice Elachi na afisa wa afya katika kaunti ya Nairobi Hilton Majdivida So as we celebrate today I am hoping that we can also look at the victims. I celebrate today uh, victims in Mount Elgon, 13 girls who were raped with their teachers and now uh, I think they have the babies now. And you'll be silent as the way we've done the match because you are ashamed to tell your daughter or son that I was raped for you to come in the world. Wanawake wengi wamedhulumiwa kama alivyosimulia mmoja wa waadhiriwa wa unyanyasaji wa kijinsia. Ni muadhiri wa violence, vita ya kimwili na matusi. Na nilipasa via for almost four years. Uh, ikafika mahali nikachoka. Ukipigwa na watu wa job na ni anajua kabisa kabisa ni watu wa job anakupiga. Ukisalimu mtu kwa barabara anakupiga. So unaona hiyo kukuwa ni kama wewe ni fugitive at your own country. That hiyo ndio ile kitu nilikuwa napitia. Lakini I thank God nili, nili hiyo yote nilimaliza. Kulingana na shirika la afya duniani, kati ya wanawake tatu, mmoja amedhulumiwa kimapenzi na hata kimwili, huku asilimia 38 wakiuawa na wapenzi wao. Nchini Kenya, kati ya wanawake watano, mmoja amedhulumiwa kimapenzi na kimwili, hii ikiashiria asilimia 45. Kesi za dhulma dhidi ya wanawake zinazoripotiwa katika afisi za polisi ni nne tu kila wiki. Cha kushangaza ni kuwa wahusika wakuu wa kitendo hicho ni wanaume. Takwimu zinaonyesha kuwa mwaka wa 2013 huduma ya polisi nchini ilipokea kesi 1596 za dhulma za kimapenzi. 913 ya ubakaji, 242 ya wanawake waliohusika kwa tendo la ngono ya ukoo na 124 ya ulawiti. Vile vile kule mlima Elgon wasichana 13 walinajisiwa na walimu kama alivyosimulia Beatrice. Child uh, she supposes that she was raped for her to get that pregnancy. So she had to commit suicide. This young boy now I think has done his standard 8 and I pray that he will continue with his education but he's a young man who needs a lot of counseling also because he doesn't know why did mom commit suicide. Na je, kuna umuhimu wa kuhusisha wanaume katika vita dhidi ya unyanyasaji wa jinsia? Wanaume need to be brought to the table. One because wanaume who are abused they never report. Tunanyamaza. Hata mimi waambia watu wazine pia mimi pengine nikipigwa sitaambia wa, sitaambia watu. That is one one of the issues due to the stigma. Mwanaume ndio mkubwa akipigwa inakuwa aibu. Secondly, men also need to be involved kwa, kwa sababu hao ndio pia perpetrators. Men need, our minds need to be changed. Change of mindset ili tuweze kuona what we are doing is wrong and we stop it. J, sheria za kutosha za kupambana na unyanyasaji wa jinsia zipo? So tuko hapa kupeana legal advice anyone who has legal issues eh, tuwapatie the correct legal procedure to go through kupata justice after getting abused. And uh, for the last 10 years when uh, judge Jokindungu lady justice uh, did uh, the sexual offences bill in parliament I think that is when we also started following I know Milio Diambo and team did the children's act and these were some of the agendas we were trying to carry at that time. Mbali na maandamano, wahusika waliweza kupata huduma za bure za kiafya. We are having a, a rally as well as we are having also a legal aid clinic ongoing, a psychosocial counseling ongoing and also HIV testing services and cervical cancer and also health information ongoing. Maandamano haya kimealianza Afrika Kusini 2007 na nchi ya Kenya imeadhimisha kwa mara ya pili kupitia shirika la AHF. Maandamano hayo yanaendelea kwa siku 16
Na ni hali ya kimya ambacho kimezidi kuendelea nchini Kenya hali maarufu silent protest. Leo hii maandamano yameweza kufanywa kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba masuala ya unyanyasaji jinsi ya jinsia na hata unyanyapaa dhidi ya jinsia imeweza kukomeshwa siku ya leo. Mbali na hao wengi wanazidi kujitokeza kuhakikisha kwamba unyanyasaji dhidi ya wanawake na hata ukeketaji imeweza kuangaliwa na kuweza kukomeshwa nchini Kenya. Wengi wamezidi kujitokeza na kusema kwamba leo yametosha na kunyamaza tu kwa kuweza kuongea. Nikiripotia mwanga wa Ebru, mimi ni Ode Francis.